Yay, it's three months since my ACL operation. I'm feeling incredible and I just need to share with you my tips. So now I'll show you what I can do at this stage. Everyone's different. Some people take longer to do certain things, but I feel like because I can do so much now, um, it's because of the things that I've been doing. And so I'm gonna share those things and hopefully that'll help. Uh, so yeah, this is what I can do at the moment. Now the other one. Yay! Hello, knee. <laughs> this next move apparently can take some people a lot longer. Um, I think with yoga and everything, this is why it has become so quick to come around. Um, it's not quite completely collapsed, but I can just about touch, touch, touch. Ow. <laughs> but it's touching, so it counts. Obviously I can do a lot more uh, exercise wise, but I think those are the two crucial things. You wanna really get that bend in the knee. Um, it's pretty much a straight leg as well. Sometimes when it's led out straight for too long, it can get really sore, but I'm really chuffed that I've got the full bend in the knee and it's just a matter of strengthening now and getting that flexibility back. So how did I get to that point where I can do all those things? I'll tell you. <laughs> Basically, there's gonna be times where it's swelling and it hurts uh, if you overexert yourself and you've gotta kind of have the balance of knowing when to stop, when to rest but also when to push it as well, and what exercises help with pushing it. Like cycling was really helpful to um, just build up that muscle again, uh, because after the operation, you lose a lot of muscle when you're, uh, when you're resting for that long amount of time. Uh, so cycling really built the muscles back up quite quickly. Keeping on the topic of exercise, I would start to introduce yoga every morning and every evening um, a good like half an hour 20 minutes even if you just want to rest and you just need to lay and just stretch have a nice stretch in places that feel they need it that's even good in itself um, but I definitely found doing yoga every morning every night helped with my mind mentality everything and obviously physical side of things one of the exercises I was doing in my physio class one Thursday was plank and it really hurt when I was doing the plank but when I got out of it, it had loosened everything up and I could do lunges that I couldn't when I started and so I think the plank is a really good one to do. And obviously like downward dog and um, warrior poses where you're lunging and you're holding that pose for a long time. I'd also start to cycle to physio, so that would be my warm-up, and I'd cycle back. Um, I also started to do like yoga straight after physio and then cycle home, so I was quite tired by the time I cycled because my body had kind of rested a lot, but cycling, yeah. I would cycle Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday uh, to and back from where I was going. And then the rest of the week would just be yoga, maybe some ab work, and uh, yeah, and then a rest day. While I was still in a bit of pain and recovering from over exercise, I would take magnesium baths with just magnesium salts, and also before just dry brushing. Dry brushing with one of these, it is just with dry on dry skin, and you're doing circular motions and strokes in directions straight to the heart. That was just to sort of release some toxins and get the blood flow going. I would also do self-massage, so using coconut oil, especially around the knee, even vitamin E oil to help with the scarring, and just to release some of the, um, the inflammation and the muscle aches and pains. In terms of eating, I would eat a healthy, just a healthy diet. Um, 
I'm vegan as well so I just needed to up the iron and vitamin C. I also started to take some supplements, so vitamin C with rose hips, uh, vitamin D, especially it's getting to winter, uh, mag manganese which helps with energy, um, magnesium and iron as a liquid form but it tastes like blood so I was like no can't do that so I just upped my spinach intake and all the other food that has iron in also turmeric is great for inflammation so I have been taking turmeric capsules with black pepper because that helps to absorb the turmeric into the system um, and that helps with inflammation across the body so even inflamed spots or arthritis, things like that. Uh, so I think I'm gonna keep taking the turmeric just for general life. So yeah, those were the things I had been doing um, to help myself get in a really good place. Um, the, the little niggles that I'd be having would be, you know, clicking in certain, like my knee would be clicking. It would feel really strange in certain places. The area where the staple is, is kept, um, that would become really sore. Uh, as well as a hamstring, um, the odd bit of swelling here and there, and just generally tired legs because I'd been cycling and just fatigued. But um, stretching when you can just to help yourself feel a bit more awake and alive. And so yeah, that's what's really helped. And I think, um, and I'm still carrying on doing those things. I'm still taking my supplements. I'm eating well. I'm massaging, I'm putting oils on my skin. The only things that are changing now and my future goals are to go towards building up my fitness even more. Um, and because it's, I'm coming up to winter, just make sure I don't get too um, comfortable and I want to just get really nice and fit and healthy, ready for the new year, um, my new plans. <clears throat> so, what I will be introducing soon is swimming, uh, breaststroke, because I can start doing that now. Um, Pilates, I've started one session this morning and it feels really good. It's mostly focused on the core and glute area, um, but also does everything. And I think that's going to wake me up a bit more and make me feel a bit more alive than just the yoga. Um, you can have awakening yogas. Um, but I think I'm gonna just stick to evening time for yoga and Pilates in the morning. And yeah, keep up the cycling and all of that. Once I start driving, I'll also start doing massages for clients and that's like a full body um, workout in a way, especially side lateral lunges. So I'll see how that goes, but that's gonna just probably be quite challenging and help me get a lot stronger. So yeah. Also I would just listen to the physios at physio class and um, yeah, just listen to your body, make sure you don't push yourself too far but don't get like a couch potato and just sort of lay back with this because in the future it will only get harder. You might as well push yourself this year um, and you know, you'll be, you'll be feeling so much better. See it as like a a chance to push your body and to really get yourself into a good place um, and don't let this get you down or scare you because um, yeah like you're only given as much as you can take I think and my voice sounds like a teenager's <clears throat> and focus on your next goal the next thing that you want to accomplish like mine would be swimming uh, to start doing really well in breaststroke and Pilates, I just can't wait to sort of get that down and get into really good shape. And it's exciting because, yeah, my knee is in such a good place right now and <clears throat> certain things that I couldn't do in my physio class, I literally, I could do the other week and it's just so, it makes me so happy and I'm kind of just getting out of that, like, oh, my, f my knee, like getting down about it. Obviously there's times where it's, it's frustrating um, and it does get painful and sore but I'm in such a good place like I can walk pretty much without any niggle I mean I know it's there but yeah the only way is up right now and it's gonna get so much better
I completely forgot to mention as well that I've been running in ACL class they got us sort of running and sprinting in little intervals and running backwards and hopping um, and side hopping that sort of thing so and also darting left to right and the other day I went for a little run with my friend and I did the most I've run in probably a year or so and it felt really really good my knee was sore at one point and then it just kind of went um, but the next day my calves were really sore and for another day after that uh, but um, much better now and I'll probably go for a run sometime soon so no worries yeah not much really happens between these spaces now it was a quick change around in the first few months but now it's just I think focusing on getting the exercises down and it's more so just persevering and waiting to see like a another change I think the next step will probably be walking without any issue but yeah um, keep your spirits high and good luck with it and you'll be fine and I am proof that if you just work hard these few months you could be in a really good place and you should be really proud of yourself yeah I think that is it for now and I'll probably do a catch up in another few months time on my leg maybe do some other videos on other things but yeah ACL out.